Now I know it's the Linux channel cliche to have a video about the basics of Vim. I know. And I just think though that actually a lot of videos about the basics of Vim probably aren't really that basic or they just need to get to the point. And I know my videos don't always get to the point, but this is what we're going to do today. We're just going to get to the point of the basics of Vim. Just get stuck in. It's not scary. Don't make it as complicated as it needs to be. So that's what we're going to do. So let's have a look very quickly at the Arch Wiki, which I'll be honest, isn't probably the best way to start as far as I'm concerned. Um, just gives you obviously an overview, installing it, usage, but... And there's a lot of stuff here, which is fine, but it also feels like it's lacking somehow. I don't know. Good thing about the Arch Wiki, though, for getting past the basics, you can um, find lots of lots of links at the bottom, as you can see, to customize it to your heart's content. But on this channel, we're just going to keep it simple and really just get into it and not fuss too much about Vim that a lot of people seem to do and a lot of Linux channels seem to do, especially non-programmers, but or do people not doing programming? So um, let's get into it. So first thing we need to do, create a, create a um, VimRC. So this is your config file, okay? Now, if you're a NeoVim user, don't worry, I'm not hating on NeoVim, we're all friends here. Don't judge me either. Um, NeoVim's perfectly fine. Your configuration file sits in a slightly different place. Uh, you can look that up if you're running NeoVim, but we're just going to do Vim today, okay? It's basically the same thing. Okay, so first things first, make sure your uh, package manager is up to date. Mine is. And um, also make sure you have Vim installed. So. I obviously have it installed, so I'm not going to install it. Um, so once you've done that, you can, of course, actually vim into and create your .vimrc file. Okay. And what we're going to do here is just one thing, one thing only. I'm not going to install plugins. You can look up plugins and all this kind of stuff. One thing I will say about plugins, though, anytime I see a vim video, and this is another reason why I'm doing this, where people who aren't even really programmers have all these plugins, all this useless stuff as far as I'm concerned. Okay, there are some good things, but they have like so many plugins and the thing runs terribly and these are on like powerful machines. How can you set up Vim to run slow? It's just, might as well just use VS Code if, if you're doing any kind of coding or just don't use a text that, I don't know, maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm being harsh, but to me, Vim should be like lightning. Anyway, let's um, get on with this. So what we want to do is we want to take the escape key, which takes you out of insert mode. So one thing I will do is uh, let's do screen key. Let's show you, show you what I'm doing. So um, if you see at the bottom of the screen, um, I've just loaded Vim. I've just created this. Uh, VMRC and I'm hitting I for insert mode and what I'm going to do is put you in insert mode so you can type so I'm going to do I know remap and then JJ and then escape okay and then what you do because JJ doesn't take us out of insert mode yet let's hit escape and then we're going to do colon right uh, WQ to right quit okay so now if I go into that Vim dot uh, VMRC that we've created and I hit I for insert mode and I hit JJ, I'm now out of insert mode. I want to be on the home row keys. I do not want to have to move my hand all over to the escape key. This is the most important thing as far as I'm concerned and for most people, but you customize you. There's plenty of other things you can do, you know, like um, page width and wrap around text, but we're not going to do that today. This is Let's just get on with it, okay? So I'm gonna colon right quit. And what I'm gonna do is let's play with a file. So I've got my um, TTYSH. Uh, for yourself, I'd suggest have a text document, plain text document you can play around or whatever you need to do and let's get into it. So first of all, 
the obvious thing is the moving okay so let's start off with j okay j takes you down a line k takes you up a line and you can hold it down as you can see and it takes you up and down okay um let's see l takes you right okay Ooh. uh hey h takes you left there you go simple simple moving that's what you're going to use a lot let's go um forward a word so w well when i say forward a word it's actually taking you forward on uh, words between white spaces with normal characters obviously if you have like special characters and whatever it will only go forward a special character i think that makes sense so as you can see www b b b for back it's taking me whatever okay and um, we can search for words using forward slash so let's put daily hit enter there we go okay so you, what you can do is if you want um, let's say four so i want to search every word for i can hit n for next next i can do shift n to go back that word and you can put in like whole strings and and whatever now gg takes you to the top of the page shift g takes you to the bottom okay gg top shift g bottom gg top shift g bottom if i want to go down a page or i think it might be half a page um i'm not sure i'm not sure anyway um con control d okay and control u takes you up control d takes you down there's like scrolling down page down page up but the vim way okay now if we want to insert uh we hit i okay and this is allows us to type so if i hit jj that takes us out if i want to um jump down a line and start going into insert mode it does that if i want to go in the line between the two or the line above and insert i can hit shift o start typing hit jj if i want to take this line i can hit yy and hit p Ooh, should do it so i'm yanking the line hit p and that pastes okay if i hit dot that just repeats the last action okay if i want to undo my last action i hit u okay and then again, you know, these are the kind of things you're going to use all the time, all the time. So what next? What next could we do? So um, let's look at macros, because why not? Why not? So if you want to record a set of actions, you hit Q. OK. And then you choose a letter, I think, or a number. And that will be your signifier to when you want to play what you're now recording. So I'm going to hit Q again, and that's going to start recording all of my actions under the letter Q. If that makes sense, I'll show you how it works in it. So I'm going to put the quick. Oh, of course, I'm not in insert mode. So that wasn't a good idea. So let's do Q uh, and Q again. And I'm going to right. So. It's recording now, so I want to go insert mode. I'm going to the quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, and then I'm going to come out of J. Okay, I'm going to hit uh, Q again, and that's ended my recording. Okay, so now what I can do is say I want to um, do that many times. I can hit um, the at key and press Q, and you see that it's copied all of my actions. And I think you can do like. Q, uh, you know, one, uh, 10 times, uh, I can't remember. So if I do 10, Q, uh, no, that's recording that. Uh, so is it at, do, no, Q. Anyway, you can look up the documentation. You can do like multiple, you know, repetition and macros, or you can do, I don't know, um, dot, dot, dot. So, you know, you can just do it like that, whatever. There we go. You do you. Uh, you this, is, this is stuff you're probably not going to use as much. I don't know. So um, what else is there really? So like you can do combinations. So if I want to change, if I want to change a word, I can do CW. Okay, it changes the first word uh, or the first normal characters. And I can put not the quick. Okay, so it puts me in insert mode. I'm now back out of insert mode. So I want to change three words. Okay, I can do change free w and then it's deleted 
free w uh, free words and I can insert whatever I want okay look up the man page look up the documentation it's all these different combinations what the whole point of this is this is like three percent two percent one percent of vim but the two percent is what you're going to use 90 percent of the time and that's the most important just get over the hump just learn it just do it and obviously what do we need to do to save a file so we do w hit enter i'm not going to save this because this is my i should have created a um should have created a uh, copy whatever and then if you want to write and quit um colon wq that's really i mean that's really all the kind of stuff you're going to need yeah there's all these different combinations you know dd deletes a line of course and you can paste that line in somewhere else um you know again yy yank you can yank words right you can do yw and then it yanks the letter or the word or whatever yeah okay so again yw is like a combination you know uh, you can change in you know c uh, co um c bracket insights so if you're a programmer you're going to use this kind of stuff okay that's really it um so just get doing it the most simple stuff is what you're going to use most of the time um it's easy it's really easy get away from nano get away from g edit or whatever it is just use vim it's a hundred times better don't bog it down with plugins if you don't need to if you need plugins of course install plugins to your heart's content i have one or two but i don't know i don't, I don't unless you're a programmer i don't think you need to worry about this so vim is brilliant it's a way of life as as some people say um and uh yeah so there you go. I'll probably put I'll put the Arch Wiki in the um, description so you can you can look it all up. And uh, there you go. So you know what to do with the thank YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and that's it for today.